Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, LearningVideo.com. If you use a Canon camera with Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve, um, you might want to watch this video. Um, I learned something, I thought I'd share it with you guys. So what we're looking at is the Shogun, Adam's Shogun, and I got it connected to the Canon T2i, actually my original camera I got from like seven years ago. And what you're, it's not a clean display. Back then they didn't have clean displays, but we could still um, see what's going on here with the white, the gray, and the black patch that you see right here. That's mostly what I'm interested in. So if we go here and we look at the waveform, um, I know it's hard to see, but there's that white patch is right there. It's about, I don't know, maybe 98. The gray patch, I know it's hard for you to see, but it's right at pretty much 60. And the black patch is pretty much right at, I don't know, five or so, something like that. All right, next up is the Sony A7R2. And if we go ahead and bring up the uh, waveform monitor. Um, now I've got my settings exactly the same as before. F5, ISO 400, and you'll see that the white line, and that's what we're going by here. I'm just bringing, trying to get it to 100. That's not normally what you do with this one because I think on the X-ray, they kind of recommend that white be reflecting about 90% of light. So it would be about 90, but for just this, particular uh, test I'm showing you, just to make things easy, I'm gonna put it on the 100 line. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change the aperture on the A7R2 slightly. And now we're slightly below the line. I'd say we're at 99, 98. So very similar to what we were on the T2i. All right, next up is the Canon 5D Mark IV, brand new camera. Um, and this is all eye Kodak at uh, full HD, so 1080. And we'll take a look at the signal. I'm at F5 on this camera, ISO 400. And you can see the white patch is pretty much at, I don't know, 90, about 98. Gray patch around maybe 61, 62, and maybe black patch at like seven. Now I'm gonna change it from full HD all eye. Um, to 4K motion JPEG. All right, let's take a look at it now. This is 4K motion JPEG. You can see we're pretty much pretty much the same. We've got uh, about 98, but 61. I don't know, maybe an IRE 7. All right, now we're in DaVinci Resolve. This is the chart which I cropped in on. This is the resulting waveform. We're in the color tab. Um, this is the Sony a7R2 4K, 1080, doesn't make any difference. This always looks the same, and it matches exactly what we saw in the Shogun. About 99, 55, and about, I don't know, seven for these white, gray, and black patches you see here. So let's move on. Now we've got the 5D Mark IV 4K Motion JPEG. Um, we see something different here. The 60 and maybe the five or seven down here are the same, but we notice there's a difference in the brights. Um, we've got, uh, it's not at 99 or 98, it's down at around 90, so that definitely looks different. Let's move on. A different Kodak, and this is the 5D Mark IV All I. This is full HD. Um, this looks right, this looks right, but down here, that doesn't look right. <laughs> Where's our uh, black? It's below zero. What is it, at like a negative five? So something's odd there. And then when we go to uh, the Canon T2i, full HD, we see the exact same thing, basically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the Edit tab. On the 5D Mark IV 1080, I'm gonna go to Clip Attributes and go from the data levels from Auto. I'm gonna go to Full. And we'll do the same thing to the T2i. Go to Full. Go back to the Color tab. And now what we see, this has changed. Um, now we can actually see down here, we can actually see that instead of being a negative five, it's come up to maybe a plus five. And same thing here, it's, it's come up. Um, but you can see now on the Canon, these are all three of the Canons, they all now look the same. They're all around 90, they're all around 60, and they're all around here. So I guess our two takeaways here are, um, don't trust the HDMI output from the Canon. So if you're going to a Shogun and you're setting levels and you're looking at the uh, brights, um, you know, the, the white patches and maybe the black patches, it's not gonna look right. And the second thing is if you use Resolve, use full instead of auto when it comes to 
the all eye Kodak. If you're in 4K in a motion JPEG, it works fine. So you might be asking, well, why is this? Um, I'm not a colorist. I don't have the technical background, but um, I have talked to some colorists and they basically said the same thing of this article on this particular website. Um, basically what he says is, the Canon DSLR's video conforms to BT601 standard for SD video, which I guess is a long time ago, not HD, but very small SD video, instead of the BT709 HD standards. Um, and he goes on to explain more about it in his um, post. Basically, um, he says the simple answer is Canon's DSLR video does not comply with BT701 recommendations. Um, so basically that's it in a nutshell. Um, like I said before, um, don't trust the HDMI output from the Canon if you're setting levels um, to like a Shogun. And if you're using Resolve, using like the, the 1080 versions, the all I or IPB, um, you're gonna need to set that to full or auto. Now those people that are watching, still watching this and they're like, they don't use Resolve, but they use maybe Premiere Pro or Final Cut X. Well, I can talk to Premiere Pro. I've never had this problem but with, um, at least I don't think I did, but with uh, Final Cut X, I have no idea since I am a Windows only guy. Um, if you're wondering why I'm doing all this stuff, it's for my color course that I'm working on. And since I have the 5D Mark IV and for testing in terms of matching colors up with the Sony cameras that I have for the course, uh, that's why I'm kind of working on this. All right, talk to you guys later, bye.